All right, what's up with y'all today? I'm gonna be showing y'all how I design my clothes. All right, so right now, I'm trying to just make some long, you can call them long sleeve tees, but it's like a short sleeve tee over a long sleeve. Let me see. As I can see right there, as I was gonna look. So we're just gonna try to design one. Usually I go to Pinterest or uh, Google, just to look up some, some images or like some designs, other than like my real designs that I do. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the back because I already know I wanna put this on the back. Okay. This was gonna be on the back. Keep this on the back. Uh, this is like the staple design of my brand. It's like the more logo. It's a more A logo. And this app that I'm using called Photo P. And basically it's just an app so you can um so you're able to edit like Photoshop. It's just free. Because I told myself I'm not gonna get me fucked up and you think I'm gonna pay for Photoshop. It's dead, bro. It's dead, bro. Alright. So I'm just gonna put a stroke on here. Like that. Just something like that, just simple. On the back, and then I might put uh like the little point that I did last like, time down here for the hoodie. I like this. Yeah, yeah, I think we looking. This just the back. It's real simple. One thing I learned, bro, you don't have to overcomplicate the design. You do not have to overcomplicate your design. If you overcomplicate them, you end up making some bullshit, bro. Literally keep it simple. Keep it to where you can. It's legible and it's known as yours. Like. I, the one thing I wanted to make sure that I did every time was make sure that folks knew that this is from Mississippi. Like, that, that's something I'm gonna take with me every time I go out. Made in Mississippi, this other way. So this most likely what the bag gonna look like. I'm probably put a stroke around this too. So let me, so far this how the back looking. Uh, and you see that took me, what? This video been going five minutes and y'all see I got the back done. Most of the time I do the back first just so I can go ahead and get that done. Um, and now this is where I'm going with Pinterest and I would look for stuff. I have a whole bunch of stuff saved on my own. Like something like this, like I like this. I like this a lot. And I'm gonna show you how to take something, make it your own and like kind of customize it for yourself. Cause like this, you see this say Jackson, 1993. But it's the same thing right here that says this, 1928, Chase, 1993. So folks remake the same thing. It's just like, you gotta make it your own. Because me personally, I've never seen this action on somebody's clothes. So I'm not gonna say it's free to use, but you can always switch it to where you can't get copyrighted for it, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna show y'all how, how I switch stuff to make it match, like on the iPad and shit. Let me show y'all. So yeah, this this what I'm uh this basically what I do when it comes to, like say I find something like this on, on Pinterest. Go to my iPad and I got my uh, my Pinterest account on my iPad too. Yeah, literally save to the iPad. So I would literally just get the same picture. And then something you could do on the iPad that I love, you can go to uh an app called uh Procreate. I would literally click, drag this. It's over, see? Now I just got this same image that was on Pinterest. And now all I had to do, this is where, I ain't gonna say the artistic part has come out, but you can literally remake this logo and uh, make it own. So nine out of 10, all I'm gonna do is um, change this to the date that I started my brand, which would be 2022. And then um, put a more world up here, hearts instead, and then literally just like making my own. So most likely I'm gonna show y'all just a, a time left of it. So you sit back, relax. I'm gonna show y'all.
Okay, so as you can see, I'm done with like the base of what I want to take from this design. This is all I'm gonna take from this. And then the rest, I'm gonna freestyle it kind of. Because I, I really just wanted that kind of base, like especially with this, these words of them. But you see what I'm saying when I say you can take it and make it your own. Like I don't want the stars and all that, I don't want all that. So this is all I need from it. It's all I need to put on the shirt, so that's all I'm gonna take. So I'm gonna move the background and I'm gonna get on here. I'm gonna get back with y'all when I got it on the shirt. All right, so boom, I got the picture uploaded. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. Y'all look closer. Basically, this is how we're gonna do when you put that pair down. That's how we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring this to the top. That's how it looks. So this is literally just gonna be a, uh, what's the name? Like a, a mock up. Literally, that's all this is, a mock up. And this might not even be the, the shirt that I use. This might be like a throwaway design. This is just to throw something on, on a shirt just so I can see how it would look. Nine out of 10, I'm probably not gonna even use this. It's just to show y'all like the design process that I go through. I'm just gonna use this one and just, and just double it on both sides. I kind of like, like the way that this one fit. Pause. Um, oh, I bet. So we're gonna take this one and then. Okay, I like this way, bro. Okay, now nines out of 10, I'm gonna try to find like a, I want like a skull or something. Let me see. Process of design, and you literally gotta try stuff. So, if it look good, it look good. If it don't, it don't. Is this nigga rapping young boy in there? But like I was saying, basically, as you can see, this is like what I'm doing right now. It's just some simple, simple as fuck. It's not too much. Uh, nines out of ten, like I was saying, this is not something I would actually make for real. It's just like a just the design, so y'all can get this. Y'all can get this like this. Like the feel of how to design stuff because it's not as hard as folks make it seem it's literally not let me get some hearts something like this okay this is some for the sleeve okay because i was really looking for some for the sleeve i can rock with this for the sleeve i'm gonna show y'all some and this is literally what I, all I would do for the sleeve. Something really simple. But something like that. And then let me do this. <laughs> Alright. But y'all get the idea. It's just something to put on the sleeve. Because I, I'm not gonna leave the sleeve like. Of course, like I said, do not I'm not gonna say take this as as, as pure advice on how to design a shirt. But it's a way to get started if you have no base at all. Because this is something to put on the shirt. And like I was saying with the um for the bottom, I need to feel that bottom up or something. So nine out of ten. Mm, I like that heart that I did the first time. That I seen the first time. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rock with that. Come on, rock with me. Don't crash on me, man. I'm about to say, don't do me like this. Sweetie. Get your leg. Same thing we've been doing, you know. 
We're going to make it a color overlay. We're going to zoom in. Do the same thing that we've been doing with the stroke. Put the two strokes. And I really want to duplicate this. Let me try to see how we look down here. I don't like the way this position, but we're gonna keep it like that. Fuck it. That's a pretty mid fucking shirt, not gonna lie. And then this is where you gotta put your thinking cap on, you know what I'm saying? And then try to come up with something. Cause real shit, this is not. This is something I would probably scrap. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is something I would scrap, but we're gonna stay strong. We're gonna try to bring this back together. I really wanna put some stars or something here. So after further uh further trying, I ended up coming up with this. Uh it's better than what I had at first. It's just something to put on the shirt. Uh this is how the back look. I'm gonna still fix the sleeves up and everything just so y'all can see how the back look. But uh so far this is all I got. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I'm somewhat pleased with it. I'm not gonna lie. It came out better than I thought it was, but I'm gonna do the back sleeve, the back of the sleeves, and I'm gonna show y'all how to like how it look all together when it's done. Alright. So as you can see, um we have the shirt. It's done. This is basically how the front and back will look. Uh it's not my best work, but it's not my worst. Uh it's, it's pretty it's pretty decent shirt if y'all want to see this made just let me know i could easily get one of my vendors to do it and then this would be a piece that i could make but nine out of ten i'm gonna remake an actual i actually try for it and make a a piece like this because i do want a a, a layered long sleeve shirt but y'all guys like the video you know what to do it's free like comment subscribe you know the works and everything of that nature um, and we got this motherfucker.